Hey guys, it's Jim from Team Burning Infinity. I've got a semi um Pale Moon deck profile. I've got two starting mang. Let's get it started. Um I also have a local report and I scrapped Aqua Force and be selling this soon. That's what I pretty much just gotta say for this video. Um we've got two vanguards are gonna be alternating between. This searches the top these are both four runners and this searches the top three for I mean top five for a grade three van vanguard. Um, and this one goes into the soul, and they both counterblast, but this one goes into the soul, they both go into the soul, <laughs> they're both forerunners, but this one searches for the top for grade threes by using the same cost, but for this cost, you use it to, um, put it in your rear, you put it in your soul and then call a pale moon from your soul into the rear guard circle, which is very good, um, now we've got three critical triggers, I only have two poison jugglers and one diamond juggler, but these will be four, Poison jugglers in a moment, but I just because I have to still get um the four the four stand triggers, which is unfortunately my damage and flipper, so I'm definitely gonna need that. Um, then we've got four poison. I mean, oh god, um, four popcorn boy. Popcorn boy is just an adorable heal trigger, so why not? He's a cute little guy. Then we've got four draw triggers. When it, um, it's very good because it's got a skill. When I boost anything, I boost and it hits. I put it into the soul. I put this. I mean, I soul charge, and then this goes back into the deck. It is absolutely good because I get to use my reuse my draws in my deck. So n then we've got fire fire juggler fire juggler. Um, when I when it boosts the vanguard and then the vanguard. Draw checks a grade a grade three. I get to call a pale move from my um soul, so that's very good. It just helps me like keep getting pale moves out of the soul. Now we've got a great target for that, which is like jumping Jill. I mean Glenn, she she has a really great ability when she's called from the rear guard. I mean from the soul to the rear guard, then she gets plus three k. So she's a ten k attacker. I'm probably gonna run three of her, um and. So far, only one purple trap pieces, but she's very good. When she's placed on rear guard, I get I put a pale moon from my rear guard circle into the soul, and then I call them, and then I call a different one out, or I can call the same one out. I'm pretty sure it just can't be purple trap pieces. Um, I'm definitely gonna be playing four of her. Um, then for the grade twos, we almost finished with the grade twos for for now, but um, we got four jumping Joe, just like jumping Glenn when she comes out of the um. Soul to the rear guard, she gets plus 3k, so 12k attacker. Um, we've got then two mirror demons when he when his attack hits a vanguard, I'm pretty sure, just only vanguard. No, actually, when he just hits anything, oh, so when he hits, I get I counterblast one and put him in the soul, and then I call a pale moon for my soul into the rear guard circle. So, absolutely great. And then we've got two fire breeze carry. Fire Breeze carry, I counter blast two, and then I get to draw one. Um, it's ap It happens whenever she hits anything. I mean, he hits anything. Oh my god, you're a guy. That's creepy. <laughs> I actually didn't look at the artwork so closely. That's a guy. So that's kind of creepy. Um, we've got then four Star Melody Tamer Pharah. Her ability is when she... When it's limit break, when she's Vanguard, um, counter boss one, choose, and then choose a Pharah from my hand and discard it. And I soul charge two, choose up to one pound from my soul, and then call it to rear guard, and that unit gets plus 3,000. So it's absolutely great. Um, I'm all, I'm gonna alternate her, and sometimes when I want to play like a little more aggressive, or I can use something for like a little more control when I'm going against certain decks, so I'm gonna use something like. Nightmare Summoner Raquel. He is very. I would say he's a decent guard. Like he's a 10k body, which is not as great as 11. But um, he still got a pretty good ability. He's got limit break. He gets a 5,000 when he attacks a vanguard, and I kind of blast too when he's placed on vanguard, and then I can call a pale move directly from my soul into the rearguard circle, and then we've got Nightmare Doll Alice because just like Mirror Demon, when she when they attack and hit. That means I put I kind of was one and put them into the soul and then I get to call out a different rear guard. So that's a very good start for now. I've still got a long way to go, but I will get this deck done as soon as possible. Um, but I entered tournament with liberators and 
it was not my Liberated deck, of course. Um, it was a friend I was borrowing. Um, deck. His name is Jason. He's a very cool guy. I really like him. He's a really great friend. Um, he's a very cool guy to hang around. And he let me borrow his Liberated deck when I was when I sold my Aqua Force, sold my Aqua Force stuff. Basically, the, all the important one. And I can't play it with not a complete deck. So, yeah. Um, and so I was. Pl I was playing with the Liberator, went three and one, but I did not get to go into top four because I guess I didn't make the cut. Um, I guess most people were going four zero, which I don't understand. <laughs> um, but I just didn't get to go into top four, which kind of sucks. But um, I beat in game three um a Liberator mirror match. I beat in game three a Ancient Dragon mint um Ancient Dragon, and then game three I beat Eradicator, and then. I got too owed by um Azel being played by a friend Chris. Um none of the games were really special. I did get great stuck at moments and I was playing Liberator, so being great stuck in Liberator is absolutely ass. Those were always the games I kept losing. Wow, I just moved my hand by. Sorry, I was like scratching my nose or something. Um and it was just kinda bad when I got great stuck. Those are usually the games I lost. Some some of I think two of them um that I was great stuck, I actually won. It's pretty cool. It was pretty cool that I got out of that. I got out of the great stuck, or actually one of the, one of them I got out of the being great stuck. I got drew the great three, but and then one of them I actually just won using great twos. I was just rush bum rushing him, getting superior calls and everything. Um, so it was pretty great. I had lots of fun. It was pretty cool. I got to play like my Pokemon for a little bit. I didn't really even take out my 3ds that often. It was only like in between rounds and I'm waiting. Um, so that was pretty fun, and I really hope you guys like this video, and definitely stick around for more videos from our beloved team members, so like this video, subscribe to our channel, and definitely help us hit 100, because that would mean so much to us, so, and we'll probably be doing more face reveals, um, I should probably do something like that more often, I mean, I'm, I'm the one that shows the face the most, but still, um, see you guys later, Jim from Team Infinity out.